Hello, you lot. Right. Too much tech has definitely made Dave a dull boy. I shouldn't really speak in the third person, me a dull boy. So here's what I'm going to do about it to counter that. I've been doing a lot more stuff in front of the computer because I've been creating either the online program to transcend your trauma and I've got a program that's a four week online program. Uh, there's another launch date coming up in two weeks time. If you are somebody that has experienced some kind of trauma in your life, you might like to check it out. There's a link below. Um, but also I've increased my one-to-one -one session, group sessions, breathwork sessions. It's all in front of a computer and it's not doing me any good. <laughs> um, I need to practice what I preach. And in many respects I do in the sense that obviously if I'm working in front of a computer every 45 minutes to an hour, I step away and I do something that moves the blood around my body. I use the spiral staircase there to uh, do some pull-ups or I do some push-ups or I'm, I'm using the, the worktop in the kitchen as a place to do dips or I'm going outside for a walk or I'm doing some breath work in nature, I'm touching nature, etc, etc. So I do all of that and that would be fine if it weren't for the fact that I had increased that time in front of uh, electromagnetic frequency devices. <laughs> Uh, so I'm definitely feeling uh, the toll, you know, when your creative mojo disappears and that's what's definitely happened. So it's time now to increase the physical load on my body, the physical activity. And I'm now moving from doing my one day uh, a week with my gardening buddy to now three. Because I'm no gardener, I never will be. Um, I am employed largely to do the physical stuff like chopping, digging, um, hedge trimming, uh, lifting. Uh, so yesterday I had a good two and a half hours in the day lifting very heavy stones uh, down some steps. All of it plays uh, or has a toll on my body, but it's the toll that I normally love. And I still love, but knowing that I'm going to be doing it for three days means I'm definitely going to have to look at other ways of uh, improving the recovery period or rather optimizing that recovery period. And hence, the video today and why I've got all this stuff in front of me because I'm going to talk to you about it and what I intend to do. My body shape is what you would probably call a mesomorph, I think. Um, it, I mean, you know, I may have started life as an ectomorph, but I think looking at me, I'm more mesomorph. I am able to put on muscle, but never really significant amounts, but then nor have I ever tried to. But interestingly, I have definitely noticed an increase in my muscle, and that's before me actually starting this three-day physical week. And I think that has got something to do with the NMN and the TMG, more specifically the NMN. So NMN, uh, I've been going on about this for a while. It's definitely improved things cognitively as well as physically. Uh, now, part reason for an increase in muscle that I'm not saying has definitely come from this, but it just seems odd. I haven't changed anything else in my physical activity, and yet I've noticed a change in my body. Uh, could be because it improves the oxygen uptake to muscles. So that could be the reason why. TMG, uh, I've been taking now a couple of months. It improves things like methylation. If you improve your methylation, then you are effectively improving um, your neurogen, neurogenerative, your cardiovascular, your reproductive, your detoxification systems in the body. Um, so that's a really good uh, supplement to take, both from NMN Bio. I will drop a link below. Uh, I'm also taking collagen. Uh, I'm not affiliated to this company, but I do respect them. I like them. I like the guy that runs it, Tim Gray, and I'm taking his other product, uh, D and K Stack. So vitamin D and K. So for obvious reasons, vitamin D3, vitamin K2, zinc, and vitamin C, all very obvious reasons why you wouldn't want to take them, even if you weren't looking at improving your recovery phase. Neither of those are necessarily going to help that. This is that they're worth taking because everybody should anyway, um, in terms of immune health. The collagen should uh, be a good aid in recovery in that obviously it helps to uh, not only, only improve those external things like skin health, but also um, your muscle tissue mass and bone density. So uh, collagen really is the, the glue that holds the body together. It, it even helps your digestive system because it helps to improve the gut lining. So 
It's a really good thing to take. I've been taking that for a while anyway. It's not something that I've added to aid my recovery, but I do think that will help in the recovery. L-glutamine, something that uh, Dr. Elena Serenova recommended. She's the owner of NMN Bio. She said that's a really good thing to take uh, to aid recovery, so I'm uh, taking that. Uh, electrolytes for obvious reasons, um, and, in, and I do take a little spoonful uh, uh, during my physical days. Something you men might want to consider, actually, if you're somebody, and it happens to a lot of men, you know, as they reach 50, 60, 70, you start peeing in the night more. Um, it may well be down to the fact that you've increased your water intake, but not necessarily increased your nutrients. In other words, if you're somebody like me that filters their water, uh, then of course that filters out the good stuff as well, the potassium, the magnesium. Um, so it may be worth you adding this because what can happen is that because your body isn't getting enough potassium, magnesium, and all those other um, minerals that you get in water, your body then says drink more water because it's trying to rinse out those good uh, minerals. To save that happening and therefore to save you not drinking as much water and therefore peeing in the middle of the night, it could be simply that you just need to look at increasing things like magnesium and potassium. Now, um, I've just started as of yesterday taking creatine. I'm not necessarily recommending this company. It's just one that I found. I like the guy that owns it. I think he still, still owns it, Ross Edgley. He's been doing some incredible stuff with his body um, and really testing the boundaries of what's capable and, and having you rethink uh, what somebody of his shape is capable of doing or should be doing. Uh, so whether or not I choose another brand in the future, I don't know, but I uh, I've, have just started taking that. Creatine for obvious reasons. Now, I say obvious because we know that it will help um, improve uh, muscle repair, bone uh, density as well. Um, but also, did you know that it improves uh, possibly short-term memory and reasoning? Um, I say possibly because I don't think there's necessarily enough evidence there, but what, of what the evidence there is out there, it does improve, uh, and I'm going to look at my list actually, it does improve neuroprotection, brain function, energy, energy production, reduces muscle wasting, we know that, supports methylation, it boosts workload, it lowers blood sugar, uh, and also cell hydration and injury rehab. So if you think um, any kind of physical stress, of course, is not injury, but it is a, a you know can result in you know tiny tears to the muscle. Then of course you want some kind of recovery program to aid uh, the uh, the process of hypertrophy when you know um, which happens a lot when you are doing a lot more physical exercise. This is definitely going to help it. Red light, amazing. Definitely recommend this. This is from Red Light Rising. I'm not affiliated with them though. I blooming well should be because. I've had at least four people ask me which company I get I use uh, Red Light from, uh, and I think they've all gone on to buy some Red Light products. So um, I may get affiliated with them, stand by for that, but I do recommend that. Uh, last night was amazing. I definitely had some aches and stiffness in the body. I've shone that pretty much everywhere, and it, it's definitely helped for today. Lastly, um, I am, I oh, have just started taking some Red Panax Ginseng, it's known, obviously, for things like increasing energy levels. It's got lots of other potential benefits, too. <laughs> I haven't noticed anything yet, um, but I like the idea of it because it's an adaptogen. And I only say that because there's one adaptogenic herb that has made a profound difference. I don't take it now. I've not had the need. But if I knew that I was going through some very stressful times, I would turn to it. And that's ashwagandha. It proved invaluable during some pretty traumatic times a year, year or two ago year or two ago. I highly recommend ashwagandha. Make sure you get a good source. So lastly, to add to this, I will be improving my mobility exercises a little bit. I do that every day anyway. You know that I do the five Tibetan rites every day. That's a brilliant way of uh, working mobility into your, into your daily routine. But I add a couple of extra bits on there. If you check out my um, five Tibetan rites video, you'll see the extra mobility exercises that I do there. Um, I will also still um, fast, but this morning was interesting. I definitely had to listen to my body because it was about eight, nine. Normally, obviously, I fast to midday on most weekdays, but my mind just really wasn't there, wasn't 
functioning, I felt like a real energy loss. So I turned to um, getting a good protein source, some vegetables, beetroot. I was about to say lean protein, but that would be lying because I had some lean chicken, but I also had some pork that came with extra fat in the form of crackling. I love crackling. I love that. <laughs> and, um, maybe my body needed it. Maybe I was listening to my body. That's what I'm going to tell myself. Um, and then, of course, to counter the stress that I've increased, I will be doing more of the parasympathetic exercises in the form of breath work, uh, meditation, mindfulness. When you think about all stress, as long as it's not chronic, chronic is bad for you, Small bouts of stress, both physical and mental, are very good for you because they cause adaptation and change in the body and mind. However, to make sure it doesn't turn to chronic, you do need to make sure you balance it with parasympathetic activity. There we are. I hope that helps. That's what I'm going to be doing. I'll be reporting on it, obviously. If you see me looking really withdrawn and drained, it's probably because I've gone and done too much of the physical stuff without as many breaks as I should have. So I do tend to do eight hours with half an hour break. That's not good. So I will probably just try to add a couple of extra breaks in there as well. David Florence out. Thank you for watching.